Welcome to my channel. This is Shantanu and today we'll learn what is SSH. I'll also give you a quick demo on how to configure SSH and set up with uh, GitHub on Ubuntu. So let's look at what is SSH. SSH is uh, basically a network protocol that you use to authenticate yourself uh, to, to use a service or you use it to log in to an instance, uh, let's say a server, which is located at a different place. So what we'll be doing in this lecture is uh, we'll first create a SSH key using SSH keygen. Next, we'll copy the public key contents to clipboard. Next, we'll add this SSH key into our GitHub account. Then we'll create a GitHub repository and then we'll clone the repository using the SSH URL. And then last, we'll add some code and then we'll see how we can push that code to GitHub. And all this will be done by SSH. So we'll authenticate first and then we'll do it. All right, let's get to hands-on. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll create a, an SSH key that I'm going to do in the Ubuntu terminal. So the tool I'm going to use is SSH keygen. So I'll just type SSH keygen and it will ask me uh, for a file path. Uh, the default is this one and I'm going to keep it that. I'll hit enter. Then it asks for a password. Now this password is optional. If you want to give it, you can you can give one, but I'm going to keep it for now. This, this password is required when you use SSH. Uh, if you keep it empty, you don't need to enter a password at that time. So I'm going to keep it empty. And then the SSH key has been created. So the, the location where it gets created is in the folder .ssh, which is located in your home folder. So if I go in SSH, I can see uh, the two files have been created. So one is the public key and the other one is a private key. So the public key is the one that we'll copy to GitHub. So the first thing now is to cat the contents of that public file and uh, I'm going to copy it. Okay. Then I'll go to my GitHub page and here I'll go to my settings. In the settings, you will see an option called SSH and GPG keys. I'll go there and as you can see, there are no keys added over here. So let's just do this practical where I don't have any SSH key and I'm going to create a repository first and we'll try to clone it without uh, the SSH key and using the SSH URL. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I'll give this name this repo name demo and description I'll keep it empty and I'll create a repository now there are two ways I can clone this repository one is using HTTPS so HTTPS is basically when you want to use your credentials um, you use HTTPS but whereas on SSH you need to have uh, SSH key configured with your github so why you use SSH is basically when you have um, uh, let's say uh, a server or when you have an unsecured network, you use SSH because it may happen that when you use HTTPS, you enter your credentials, someone can access them. But with SSH, you don't need to enter your credentials and then that way it is, it is somewhat secured, right? So I'll copy that and then I'll go back to my terminal. I'll clear the screen. Uh, I'll, I'll clone this repository in a folder called temp. So I'll type git clone and I'll paste in that URL and I'm going to hit enter. So right now, okay, so it says yes. Okay, now what, what do you see over here is even though we have the SSH key on our machine, it still denies us to clone the repo. The reason is that we haven't yet configured the GitHub and we haven't yet added our SSH key there. So it doesn't allow us to clone the repository. So uh, again, I'll just um, cat the contents of that public SSH key and I'll create a new SSH key on, uh, I'll not create a new key, I'll just create an entry in GitHub. So I'll go to settings. Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'll go to settings and then SSH and GPG keys. I'll click on new SSH key. Uh, I'll give this name demo and I'll paste the contents. I'll add that key, All right? And then I'll go back and then repeat the same process where I cloned the repository. So 
basically this command over here i'll just copy that and paste it and i'll run it so this time you'll see that we'll be able to clone the repository right if i do ls uh, i can see the folder being created there and it's empty at the moment now we'll push some code to the github repo from our local so first i'll create some files over here so i'll say file1.txt and touch file2.txt all right uh, and then i'll open file1 i'll add hello world and then in file2 i'll add good morning all right uh, i'll say get status and you can see i have two files over here uh, which i have created on my local now i'll add those files first and then i will make a comment so i'll name this demo all right so it says i need to uh, configure my get before i can make a commit so what you need to do is you need to provide your email address and your name which is uh, configured uh, basically which uh, which is your github account so my github account is this one uh, so i'm gonna give my email id and my username uh, basically so i'll say get config user.email techitos at gmail.com and then get config user.name i'll say techitos all right and then i can still run git commit and then demo okay so that was successful now i'll push these files to github using the git push command and i'll create a branch called master right so the syntax goes like git push and then where you want to push it so usually the remote uh, the remote uh, repository is is referred to as origin uh, this is the alias and then the branch name so i'll hit enter and once that is successful i should see a branch called master on my github repository so if i go back to my rep repository and i see that i have a branch called master that is good and i can also see those two files which i created if i open those files i should see the contents which i typed so the file one.txt says hello world and the other file should say good morning all right so that worked so yeah that was that was it and uh, thank you for watching